What's going on, everybody? Welcome, YouTube. That's right, I moved to Florida. Get in, let's go. I'm gonna take you for a tour of my new home and the surroundings. It's amazing out here. This is Halitosis Springs, Florida. I'm so happy to be here. All right, let's get going. It's not char, it's not, ch I don't think it's charged. Oh, what the fuck? I know you gonna dig this. Get it fuck it fucky with me. How are you doing today? That is right. I have officially moved to Florida from Canada. I did it. Uh, this is my new home. I bet a few of you are wondering why. Why did I move all the way from beautiful Canada down here to Florida? I'll tell you. The weather, taxes, and bush gardens. Because I've heard, uh, well, I love nudist resorts. So at least I get to go there as much as possible. The surroundings. As you can see, green all year long. Green, my fifth favorite color. Neighbors right over here, if you take a look. Every day it's happy hour out here. Yeah, sure, give them a wave. They don't wave back. Take a look right over here. Palm trees. All those palm trees. I love palm trees. I love to climb palm trees. I don't climb them myself anymore. I hire someone to do that ever since YouTube. I have a palm tree climber that I like to just watch. And one thing I can say is the neighbors love me. Ever since I moved here, they've always thought that I've been there. Oh, slow down. Fuck! And they love me. I really fit in. I found my niche. There's a lot of waving people ahead of me here. <laughs> and a lot of you, like I said, are probably wondering. What's going on? <laughs> How are you doing? How are you doing? I hate that guy. He owes me so much money. But I'm never going to see a dime of it. So yeah, a lot of you are probably wondering why. Oh, did you see this couple? See this couple? Good party! <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> he invited me out a threesome with his wife last night, uh, but I fell asleep. So we'll see how it goes for tonight. A lot of you are wondering what happened with uh, Shady. Shady is moving down with me here. My sister's FedExing him in the morning, so it should be good. As long as you wrap them up in the bubble, bubble pop, bubble wrap, they're good to go. And you might want to look right here. This is our beautiful pond. Uh, you can swim in it. I swim in it every morning, every evening. I do laps. There's alligators. There's turtles. I love alligators. And you might think, well, Scott, there's alligators. Why would you swim? Because I'm not afraid of them. I'm not. I'm not afraid of alligators, and I like to be close to them. Sometimes I'll ride them like a surfboard. But there's about five or six fair-sized gators. I'll get right in there, but i got to do my workout. This is how you keep fit, and that's what I do. Got a wrought iron bench. I've got one like that at my place too. Not to scale. It's all one way here, speed limit, five miles per hour. I like to amp it up a little bit every now and again. I'll go six, seven, I don't care. Beautiful motor homes. You can see they've got a, right here, looks to be some sort of World War II submarine replica, which is great that you get to see that sort of history all around you down here in Florida. I believe this is a giant outhouse. I haven't really been in there yet. I think they show stag films. Now we're gonna go down my street towards where I am staying, which is what you want to see where I've moved to. One, two, three, did them all. I love doing donuts. I absolutely love doing donuts. I, have, I don't like to eat donuts, but I love doing donuts. I'll just keep doing them all day long. <laughs> the ladies love it, you hear that. Here we go, a little competition going on, a little game of chicken. I'll always win. What's up, Fox? How are you doing? So I came here to get some anonymity because I was getting recognized everywhere I went in Toronto and Los Angeles. Hello. Hello. But already, thank you. Already I'm getting recognized. It's really annoying. All right. Some love me, some don't. But it's, I, it's jealousy. It's just jealousy of all that I have and all that I've become. You know, when you become a huge mega celebrity on YouTube, 
this is the kind of life you lead. You try to get anonymity and you don't. And this, I'm gonna take this up with the property owners because there should not be this many bumps in the road. Speaking of bumps in the road, a lot of you probably wonder how I got um, doing this. Like how I became so successful to buy a house in Florida, you know, has it a baller move. Well, I'm gonna tell you, you just go to my OnlyFans. That's how I did it, OnlyFans. At the same time as YouTube. I have a large collection of fans. Look at this yellow truck. It's really stupid. What's up? That's right, let's go. Come on in, guys. Let's see the house. This is where I'm living now. It's pretty small, but it's me. I've decorated to my taste. Uh, this is my sitting room. It's got room for five, as you can see. Right now, it's empty because I'm still getting to know some people. But I've got lots of cool stuff here. Everybody knows you're a fan of mine, which if you're watching, you are. You know I love pineapples. That's why I chose a pineapple lamp. Uh, mini wrench. If I ever need um, to fix something that's mini, I have a mini wrench because would require you can't use a large wrench. Well, let's go into the uh, upstairs. This is the living room slash chill room. Got my representing the Canadian flag, of course, representing Canada. Uh, this is a curtain that I had put in, but um, they didn't finish it. So it was supposed to go all the way down, but I had a disagreement with the lady making it and uh, I fired her. So never got it done, but I like it like that. I applied all these tassels myself. She's 98, so uh, you can't win an argument with a 98 year old woman. I've learned that the hard way. This is my thin mirror. So if I ever wanna take a look at myself and wanna be thinner, I just use this mirror. And uh, it's at the perfect height. I can see right from about the top of my forehead to my uh, crotch. As you can see, more of my mini curtains. I know what you're, I know what you're looking at already. You see the guitar, you see, see the guitar. Yes, I play the guitar. <laughs> no, I'm not going to play for you guys. Sorry. Uh, I just, it's something I like to do for myself. Kind of gets me in a different kind of zen. All right, one song. One song. <laughs> you guys. Okay, one song. Oh, boy. I can't believe you're me do this. Ah. This is an original. This is something I wrote uh, two and a half months ago, and it took me three years to write it. Ah. Uh. You left me at the start with your romantic heart Taking me back can make me strawberry tart Anyway, it's, it's, it's a working problem, just kind of Making me a strawberry, making me strawberry tart Anyway, here's Wonderwall course a fan but ultra expensive air conditioner AC unit gotta keep cold gotta keep chill down here in Florida imported from Greece lost the C and the E that's okay figurines love my figurines keep them all here I keep um, stuff like cars smaller cars a thing like this which looks to be a thermometer I tried to take my temperature with this and it wasn't um, didn't work it didn't fit we'll say I wasn't sure where to put it at first. But this is my kitchen. So this is where I cook. Because uh, a lot of people, a lot of you don't know, I'm a bit of a gourmet. Uh, I love to have people over and I love to cook for them. One of my favorite things to do is make soup. Uh, so I labor, I'm Campbell's soup, which is uh, really popular. But I will labor over this stove making soup after soup for my guests because it's something I love to do. And the stove, where most of the magic happens, of course. I spend so much time working on the stove, slaving over meals with my friends. I don't know why I do it. But like I said, I'm really handy in the kitchen. And I guess somehow, like this, it worked. And then Fuck me, fire! And fully stocked fridge. And of course, a little white claw, because the ladies here do love it. It doesn't matter. From 18 to 92. Out in Florida, they love their white claw. Yeah, I mean, the social scene here is pretty out of control, as you would imagine. 
The nightlife is incredible. We party all night long until about 6 p.m. And it's the babes. The babes and uh, the music. I love seeing the hot rods and people just hanging out, having a good time. The pool area is always jumping. That's for sure. There's always something going on at the pool. Over here, another baller move. Take a look. Landline. Nobody knows that number. I don't even know it, but I still have it. Right this way. This is a storage unit slash uh, extra. Take a look, come on in, don't be shy. Landline, a storage unit, but also uh, uh, can I make this into an extra bed if I have guests and, and if they're really small. But they can just kind of contort themselves in here. This is my bathroom. Uh, where I'm staying, as you can see, lots of mirrors. Not that I like to look at myself, that's crazy. Take a look right here, bathing suit for the pond, but also shower with a bathing suit on because I'm kind of shy with all the mirrors around. And here we go into the bedroom. This, you can't see, because this is where the real magic happens, in the bedroom. But this is where I get down. Got a copy of my girls, Todd Fisher. This is something I like to read uh, as soon as I wake up in the morning, not before I go to bed. I actually wake up and I start reading. A lot of people read a book to fall asleep. I read a book to, to fall awake. So I start my day with reading, and then that gets me going. But a good four hours in bed in the morning reading. So I'm on chapter one. So this is just adjacent uh, to my sitting room. This is kind of a standing room, I guess, because there's no chairs. So that's the sitting room. This would be the standing room. A lot of stuff is left here from the previous owners. I don't know a lot about what it is. They left me this uh, green thing. I guess this is a tongue depressor. They seem to have a lot of uh, medical supplies here. Oh, I want to show you something else in the kitchen. My home defense system. This is really, really impressive. Because it is Florida, and sadly, you gotta, you gotta be careful of Florida, man. You never know when they come in the front door, so you get a look here. A lot of people think these are for cooking. This is my home defense system. So I've got the knives, spoon to hit them over the head. And of course, you think I'm gonna slap them, but no, I wear this as a mask. They can't see me. You know what? I'll get my houseboy to do that later, put that back up. I don't have to put stuff up myself. Uh, random pieces of cardboard, which is always good to have. That's just something you need in your house. This is, some, this is a key rack. So you put your keys on it. If you have keys and you want to know where they are at all times, you just put this on the wall. It's something I came up with. Super braggy, I know, but uh, I mean, it's, it's all here, right? These are the things you got to do. Coming out to my garden, this is my back. And I mentioned, maybe I mentioned that I have my bench. This is my thinking bench, my thinking garden. And uh, I just love to come and sit on that bench and well, think. And right here we have, uh, I'm not sure what this is. I think this is my satellite TV. Uh, another baller move. I want to have a lot of. I should be, but this is, this is gangster wear. This is baller wear. <laughs> right? Come on. I'm going to have him kicked out probably soon out of the park because he shouldn't be talking to me. I've asked that nobody make eye contact or speak to me. Especially if I'm on camera, so I'm sorry about that. Come over here. Here is my year-round Christmas tree, because if anyone knows me, I love Christmas. I will decorate this, and when I say I, I mean Mark, my houseboy. He will come out here and decorate it for me. Uh, turtles. I love turtles and sea turtles. But at the same time, I also hate them so, so much. So I put these on here to ward off real turtles from coming onto the property, because if they breach the perimeter, I said that I will sue the park. This is a uh, tiny house that is an exact scale replica of this house, I, I think. I don't know for sure. I've never actually looked at this house from the outside. If I see a bird there, I'll kill it. And over here, this is where I entertain. This is where I have huge... I mean, when you're a YouTube baller, when you're successful, you have friends over all the time. My bossy, if you will. They hang out here, we hang out here, we will just have the time of our lives drinking, eating, uh, and food. It's just covered. It's just amazing. But I have so many friends that love, love to come and hang out already, just like other YouTubers, uh, Instagrammers. Just, it, it's as glamorous as you think it is, trust me. So unfortunately, 
Right now I don't have a dryer installed, but the laundry gets done. A little behind the scenes, you're seeing some of my more famous clothes that I'm sure you all recognize. Uh, early shirt, New Mexico stuff, 90210 shirt. This is stuff that I have to wear because it's part of the image people expect it from me, the hair, I get it. But I don't do it myself. I'm not here, you know, balling down in Florida doing my own laundry. I have a houseboy, Mark, who I love and I, he's just the greatest guy, he's just a great kid, and I treat him with so much respect and love, and I can tell the love comes back from him so much, and he's just, uh, he's just amazing, and I, we just love to sit and talk, and just, just talk about life, and get to know each other more, and, uh, like I said, he loves me, it's just, it's just amazing, but he does my laundry for me, and, uh, he didn't get a stain out of the New Mexico shirt, which is a toothpaste, I'll show you right here. That's a toothpaste stain that when I brush my teeth, I tend to foam up a lot. Not just from the toothpaste, but actual foam with bile will rise up, mix with the toothpaste and drip down my shirt. So he couldn't get that stain out, so Mark's going to be fired. Let's go this way. I want to show you my garden. Love the putter in my garden. Not a lot of people know that about me, but a bit of uh, sticky fingers as they call it, right? Here we go. I've got a cactus that I don't give any water to, and I've got uh, eucalyptus, fern, I don't give any water to them either, but I'm assuming I should at some point. I'm fine with just pots, really. Um, there's a lot of geckos running around, which I love. I love animals, but I don't like them too close to the house, so I've asked that the, uh, at the front if they can spray the entire park, so we can get rid of those as fast as possible. My neighbors, I think, are spies. I'm not sure what's going on up there. This, I don't know what this is, and I'm not sure why I don't have two of them. Because if I have one of these on one side of the house, there should be one on the other side. It makes no sense that there's not two. Mark! Afternoon, spend like this, just sitting, watching the traffic go by. Plenty of traffic, it's just, I mean, there, you would think, hello, you would think that they would, um, more to so it's relaxing to sit out here, sort of. Right down there, you can see they, they do love me too. Give us a wave, <laughs> give us a wave. They're, I'm having them removed from the park. It's just every day with the waving, I can't take it. See you later. <laughs> yeah, they'll be out of here by Wednesday. You may have noticed, everywhere I go, baby carrots. Not full-size carrots, I love the carbo load before every video and during. But baby carrots, you got half the calories. This is what I like about them. Don't get, when I have a full size carrot, you're getting too many calories. But I, just, I will just munch on these very gently all day long. But I love baby carrots. I don't trust anybody around me with silverware, kind of like I'm afraid I'm going to be assassinated if I have friends over. So, Plastic cutlery paper plates, plus I don't like the sound of metal on plates. I don't like it. And you know what, even just thinking about it is really fun. Is somebody making that sound? Mark! So, obviously I mentioned Shady. When Shady comes, this is gonna be Shady's sitting area. He's gonna sit right up here, and he's a bad boy. I'll put him right in there. <laughs> I wouldn't do that, not to Shady. To people I would, but not to Shady. But that's gonna be his sitting area. I'm about to put this, um, well, it looks like a clock. But I don't, those numbers don't add up. But, I mean, what's time? What's time, really, when you think about it? What's time to somebody who's got all the time in the world now to do whatever he wants? Time means nothing to me. I wonder what time it is. As you can see, you got the Ricky Martin tan going. <laughs> what can I say? Living La Vida Loca. But uh, it's important for, to wear sunscreen when you're in uh, Florida because of... Um, COVID-19! Well, because of that. And a lot of you probably thinking, oh, he moved to Florida just to be closer to Adam and Wu because they're buddies now. <laughs> Trust me, I'm my own man. I, I'm doing my own thing. I don't miss Adam and filming with him. Like, I'm not feeling separation anxiety, like, at all. Can we turn the camera off? We just turn the camera off. 
All right, you three, that's it. Sorry, you gotta go. Video is over, this is it. Welcome to Florida, how you doing? Look at the, my neighbors. <laughs> Great, they're gonna have to leave because they drive by every night at this time on those bikes. I can hear the squeaking, it bothers me. But we're gonna, uh, you're gonna see lots of videos coming from Florida. Palm trees, look at this, look at this beautiful palm tree. Actually, you know what? That's a really fucking ugly palm tree. I want that cut down. I want to cut down by tomorrow morning. Okay, you do. Thank you for watching. Welcome to Florida. Peace. Out. I didn't really move to Florida. The whole video was just a joke. Was it funny? I don't know. I don't know. If it's not funny, there's only one person to blame. Mark! I fucking hate that guy.